thing we get the message. Don't forget at nine o'clock tonight, it's Cuddly Dudley in our movie premiere on Faithfully Yours. A lot of drama lined up for you this afternoon and, of course, Votes for Women. This is where you'll find all the programmes. <laughs> my line. Now, our first panellist lists riding among his hobbies, and hoping to romp home to victory this afternoon is Simon Williams. Uh, and next to him, a lady who's famous for her gentle touch, and hoping to put it into practice this afternoon, Jill Gascoigne. Uh, next to her, Jill, novelist, journalist, and What's My Line regular, the lovely Jilly Cooper. And heading for a few home wins this afternoon on special loan to us from Charlton Athletic, Garth Crooks. <laughs> you probably all know the rules by now. The panel have to guess the line or the job of the contestants. Every question they ask must be asked, answered by either a yes or a no. If a panellist gets a no, I move on to the next one. So without any further ado, I shall ask our first contestant to sign in, please. <laughs> Welcome, Ruth. You. Will you do some mime for the panel, please? Oh, <laughs> Thank you. Quick, but to the point. Thank you very much. And this is Ruth Mather, and she's from Glasgow, and she's salaried. Now, close your eyes if you want to play the game at home, because coming up on your screens now is what Ruth does for a living. You <laughs> <laughs> like that? You weren't very surprised, were they? Right, Simon, the questions start with you. Hello, Ruth. Um, any chance of my coming across um, you doing this activity? Yes. yes? yes. Uh, I said, would I come to a place where you do it? Yes. Yes. Um, would you be dressed as you are now? No, no, you would be you dressed in no, special clothes. No, right? no. <laughs> well done, but no. I always get that wrong. <laughs> Thank you very much. That saves me a question. <laughs> um, so. We would go to the place where you do it. So when we got there, you would provide a service for us. Yes. There was a vague sort of surprise. Wasn't there? Uh, I don't know. The service not put up there. Eh? Yes. Um, do men and women do this? Yes. Are you actually... Would you actually serve me with something? No. No. Jilly. Um, would I enjoy your service? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you may do. do. <laughs> um, is it anything to do with food? No. No, nothing to do with food. Garth. We would obviously come to you uh -huh. for this, and it's obviously something that we would enjoy. So... Um, is it expensive? No. Oh, oh, sweet. Oh, <laughs> cheap at half the price. <laughs> Simon, would I be well advised to come to you regularly? Well, lots of people do. Really? Yes. Do you mean once a week? Every day. Every day? I could come to you every day for this service. Right. Would yeah. it be somewhere too much like... away, Ruth, because he's like that, you know, <laughs> he starts chatting I... <laughs> and not asking questions. <laughs> Would, would, would we all like to come to once a day? Wouldn't I think so. Really? And would we be, we'd be better for it, would we? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily, we said. <laughs> Is this something that you've been doing all your working life? No. No, it isn't. Chilly. I'm very confused. There's great giggles from your question, wasn't there? Yeah. And so, uh, are, are you, do you work in the high street? High street? No. 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 no, not from the high street. No. God. I'm completely bamboozled oh. here. Um, we would definitely enjoy this. It, we, this wouldn't perturb us at all. It's something that's quite... Might. We might. We might enjoy it. Um, does it mean that it's important that, that you're polite to your customers? No. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. <laughs> 
Simon. Maybe silly guards from Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> Simon. Um, is there some physical activity involved? No. No physical activity? <laughs> Nine. One more, ah. Jill. You're very near the end now. Is it unusual that a woman does this? Yes. yes. I think you're clairvoyant, aren't you? You're going to turn out to be clairvoyant. <laughs> <laughs> you see, they, now, can I just recap? You did say that it, 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 it wasn't done in the high street, was it? No. Not done in the high street, no. So you recap I quickly. Say Road street, but it can't be right. Can we have one quick question? Oh, I, do I have to? I'm not allowed to pass it on, so I can't think of no. a question. No, no you're not. not. No, no, no that's the no, so that's no. another no. Do you yeah. wear a uniform? Yes. <laughs> do you require special training? Yes. Medical. One quick question, please. Traffic warden. Oh, they're all what? deep in Sorry. deep in chat. Are you a traffic warden? <laughs> no. No. First one to see. Congratulations, you see the panel. Would you please tell them what in fact you do do? An underground train driver. An underground train driver. An underground. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see? She drives the tubes in Glasgow. Oh, that little, that wonderful underground. Oh, well, yes. yes. Glasgow, when it goes to circle. Yes. There you are. You see, obvious. that's like where it's so obvious. There we are. Well, <laughs> thanks for coming and thanks for beating the panel. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> well, one nil to the side. So I shall ask our next contestant to sign in, please. <laughs> Welcome, Mike. Thank Will you. you do some mime for the panel, please? <laughs> Lovely, Mike. That was really good. <laughs> Mayor, come and sit down. And this is Mike Sambon, and he's from Tavistock in Devon, and he's salaried. Now, close your eyes if you want to play the game at home, because coming up on your screens now is what Mike does for a living. <laughs> Jill, the questions start with you. Hello. There was very big ooze, wasn't there? And you're very smart. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> they, they obviously know that you're smart in your head as well as your dress, don't they? Obviously. Mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is this? Um, is this <laughs> yeah, is, 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 uh, uh, do you? Pro I have to I always ask this. Do you provide a service? Yes. Do you provide? Would you provide this service for me? <laughs> no. No. Jilly. Um, well, so therefore, would you provide it for something other than humans? No. 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 Very tricky, this. Garth. I have to say <laughs> that you have a great deal of confidence. And from the audience... Are you fishing, Garth? Sorry, I'm fishing. You're no, fishing. No, 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 yeah, You're no, fishing. no, nothing that uh, <laughs> gets me a mark off. Um, would it impress me, your job? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> uh, so it's something rather distinguished. Mm -hmm. uh, are you... Do you work in this... <laughs> civil <laughs> service. Yes. Are you civil service office of some sort? Civil service? No. no. No, not the civil service. Simon. Um, are you involved with livestock in any way? No. <laughs> that got a good laugh. <laughs> yes, good That's laugh. Uh, no, but a good laugh. Wonderful, Jill. <laughs> Do you wear a uniform? Yes. Uh, you're, 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 uh, you're, oh dear. Uh, I don't know what you are, but are you something to do with the armed forces? Yes. I can't think of anything else to ask now because uh, obviously you require special training. Um, oh. Could I come and see you do this? No, 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 no. I'm sorry, you couldn't. Jilly. So you're in the armed forces, and, and, and are, are you? Your hair's a bit long for the army, I would say. <laughs> are you fishing or are you being insulting? <laughs> no, no, I was making a, you're very handsome. I was making yes. a comment. It doesn't look as though you're a serving army officer. No. Uh, no, no, that's a no. <laughs> well done, Garth. <laughs> We're getting on well. You're distinguished. You wear a uniform. Uh, are you an officer? Yes. 
You lost it. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. <coughs> now what in? Well, that's yes. what you have to find out. Uh, yes. What would you find out? He's an officer. An officer. Yeah. I had him marked down as an officer. <laughs> <laughs> He's quite <laughs> that bad, that bomb be bad. Um, does this mine, whatever it was, is it, is it some sort of sinking? <laughs> it is some sort of sinking. <laughs> The fact is not some sort of thinking, no. No, it's not some sort of thinking. Sure. No. <laughs> That's all the thinking. You've got them a point. No, no. Yes, OK, I'll take a point away from them and give one to us. Simon. It's the opposite of sinking. Sorry? Uh, is it the opposite of sinking, possibly? What? No. No, 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 no not the opposite of sinking. Jill. There's a parachute. We're getting near. <laughs> Parachuting. Is it something what to do with boats? Don't yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. What do I ask now? Do you No, Do you work in the boat? Yes. <laughs> what do sailors do in boats? <laughs> well, I suppose, is that a question? Because <laughs> we have to answer with a yes or a no. That's um, not to ask, I think. Do you work, do you work on your own? No. Not on your own, no, Jilly. One more with and you. So you're in the Navy? Yes. Um, well, that wasn't a couple of boats. Of course he's in that. Navy. <laughs> he might have Sorry, he might have been she in the got Marines. a yes from a clap. Jilly, a question, please. Marines. Sorry. Um, what? Um, <laughs> boats. I mean, are you a captain of a ship? <laughs> no. No! No! no. no. <laughs> you beat the panel all the way. In fact, can you tell them what, what you do, Mike? I'm actually the captain of a nuclear submarine. Gosh, how splendid. Thank there you. we are. And in fact, we have some film of Mike um, at the periscope. I think, do we? Yes, I think. I think, still. I think uh, still. Yes, there we are. And will you explain what, what you were doing in, in your mind? I was actually telling the periscope hoist operator to lift, to raise the periscope, and I was going down to meet it as it came up. That's very obvious now, you yes, see. Yes, it is. <laughs> you see, but he, it's because he didn't do all this. I hope you were you telling see. him to get it out of the British territory. How long do you tend to see in any one time? How long is the longest? Um, eight or nine weeks. Really? Yes. Does, it, does it seem awfully long, eight or nine weeks? It does. I think it's extremely long. The last two or three weeks seem even longer, actually. Yes, 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 yes. I'm sure. Yes. Well, thank you very much for coming along and for beating the panel. Well done. It's time for the break now. When we come back, I shall ask our panellists to put on their masks and we'll meet our mistress celebrity. So we'll see you soon. Thank you. Today, cooking with cultures in Hong Kong. With cook in the pot, stir fry, sweet and sour pork. So, chop, chop, Mr. Lee. Whilst I do the tricky bit, blending the aromatic sweet and sour flavours. Now we stir fry. And in five minutes, mmm, authentic tasting sweet and sour pork. He likes it, makes a change from junk food. Enjoy cooking with culture with Cook in the Pot. Now here's a cereal you haven't seen before Kellogg's Raisin Splits. There's raisin in the mix. Kellogg's Raisin Splits. It's the perfect combination. Oh, we great tasting raisin. All wrapped up in a perfect square. It's really unexpected to find it there. There's raisin in the middle. Kellogg's Raisin Splits. Raisin in the middle. You're going to like it there. Raisin in the middle. New Kellogg's Raisin Splits. If your house is worth more now than when you bought it, wouldn't it be a shame if you couldn't get at that money? Well, now the Royal Bank of Scotland can help. With a scheme called Equity Release, it enables you to free the profit you've made, and when you've got it, spend it on practically anything you like, even if it's nothing to do with the home. Ask about Equity Release. Only at the Royal Bank of Scotland. We've made whiskers even tastier. How will you know? Your cat will tell you. Whiskers. 
Now it's even tastier. And that's better for both of you. Only the very finest red salmon are selected to bear our name. John West. Insist on the best. Welcome back. I was just checking. Yes, it is. Two to my side. As you see, our panellists have all got their masks on, so I shall ask our celebrity guests to sign in, please. <clears throat> right, the rules are slightly different here. Each panellist has one question, and whether they get a yes or a no, I move on to the next one. So I shall start the questioning with Jilly. Um, great excitement from the audience. Um, are you in television? No, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Go. I have to say, as with... Uh, it, the voice is familiar. <laughs> Does your work involve uh, a lot of research? <laughs> we're, 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 we're having a thought. We're having a thought. It's all right, we're having a thought. Perhaps, my dear. Yes, perhaps. Um, Simon. Um, you're in some branch of entertainment. Are you in the radio? <laughs> Not a spark plug, my dear. Oh, I think that's a no. Jill. Is a scarecrow. <laughs> ah. As well as a gummage. Yes. Uh, Simon, no fishing. No fishing. Jill. I'm terribly sorry. Did we, did we ask if you were on television? No, I don't think uh, you are, are you on television? I am today, my dear. Yeah. <laughs> Jilly? Very free with the endearments. We're all dear. That's what worries me. Uh, <laughs> I think it's near the part of the country, isn't it? Um, oh. Jilly. Um, well, there again, are you a writer? <laughs> Part time. <laughs> Goff. Really? You're a writer. Have you ever written a bestseller? Is that a yes or a no? Perhaps. <laughs> Very modest. Perhaps. Simon. Do you, do you live just outside Cambridge, by any chance? <laughs> Jill? I know who you are. Well, you're allowed to say it. <laughs> you're Geoffrey Archer. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, it was your latest accent, wasn't it? Indeed, I am, I'm a Somerset boy. And they all, and, and they and say Madeira at the end of everything. They all say Madeira. And in fact, you write, and you write plays. I've written a play. A play? Oh, <laughs> oh it's the first one ever. It's the first one ever. That yes. I didn't realise. Because, I mean, I suppose it's because the books have been adapted for television, but this is... Um, first time. ...beyond reasonable doubt at the Queen's, and I, and I hear you're having a, a cast change now. Wendy Craig is going to do a new television series, and it's having to come out, and uh, Gwen Watford... Very fine actress. Yes, is taking she her is. place. And Frank Finlay is continuing. Oh, that's wonderful. And, in right? fact, everyone else in the cast, Andrew Cruikshank, David Langton, Geoffrey Wickham, are all staying. Oh. So we're only losing Wendy. Oh, that's lovely. And what, you've been on six months now? Haven't Into you? the seventh month. We do our 200th performance this week. Oh, well, bravo. Well done, you. And lots more books, I suppose, coming, are there, Geoffrey? Uh, one more set of short stories, which is coming in September and then perhaps another novel after that. Is it more difficult to write short stories? I, I, I love reading short stories, I suppose, because I'm a slow reader, but, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it terribly difficult? You have to get into a much more confined space. Like painting a miniature. Everything you want to say. The interesting thing is you're in the minority. The general public don't like short stories mm. as a whole, and they don't sell anywhere near as well as a novel. Not even, I mean, great collections of short stories. No, they don't. I'm thinking of Scott Fitzgerald. No, I who, I, I agree with you. I yeah. think Scott Fitzgerald's short stories are better than his novels, yeah. but they don't sell anywhere near as well. Really, that's, well, perhaps you're proven different. I hope so, anyhow. Well, I hope so, too. <laughs> yes, well, thanks very much for coming along this afternoon. Lots of luck with the um, takeover in, in the play. I'm sure Gwen would be wonderful. And with the book. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, my dear. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, 
minutes later. I shall ask our next contestant to sign in, please. Welcome, Roz. Will you do some mime for the panel, please? That was lovely. That was very good mime. Thank you. Do sit down. Now, this is Roz Reynolds, and she's from Little Clapton in Essex, and she's self-employed. Uh, close your eyes if you want to play the game at home, because coming up on your screens now is what Roz does for a living. <laughs> right. Garth, the question starts with you. It would do. Obviously, um, from the audience's reaction, it's obviously a very popular occupation. Garth, Garth, questions oh, over sorry. here. No uh, fishing, please. Uh, <laughs> um, would I... I'd have to come to you, obviously, you're self-employed. Um, would it cost me a great deal of money? Not necessarily. I think that's a no. Oh. <laughs> oh um, are you at some kind of recreational uh, uh, service that you supply? Sometimes. Recreational. Would I, I mean, people enjoy coming to you. No. No. <laughs> it's no. Of, I'm sorry to hear that. Loosely. Loosely. Loose. Yeah. Uh, Jill. Loosely, no. Would, would you come to me to do it? No. Oh, um, could yeah, do. could do, could do. Could do, depends. Mm. <laughs> to my house? Mm. No, mm. not no. to the house. <laughs> not to the house, oh. no. <laughs> Julie? Um, we have we established a service or end product yet? I don't think we've established much, <laughs> but let's establish. <laughs> I mean, do you provide a service? Yes. You do. And presumably if you come to my house, the service is outside, as you wouldn't come into that. Yes. Um, you look vaguely artistic. Is what you do artistic? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not artistic. Garth. Would I... Um, would it cause me any distress by me coming to you? No. <laughs> 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 yes, Simon. There's, there's some mucky laughing going on yes. here. Is it, is it anything mucky that you do? Is it, is it a dirty job? Yes. It is a dirty job. <laughs> and you do it round about the house, in the garden. Yes. Does it involve um, any special equipment that you bring with you? Yes. Uh, would you take anything away with you when you left? Yes. <laughs> We're not talking effluent of any kind, are we? No. No, <laughs> no. no effluent. Jill. I just whispered to Jill what effluent means. I don't know what they mean. <laughs> This, yeah. is an, this is an educational yes. programme. I was actually yeah. going to ask that question, so it was a good job. Yeah. How to make friends and effluent people. Yes. <laughs> um, did you require special training? Yes. And from the way they laughed, men and women can do this? Yes. Um, do you work on your own? No. Not on your own? Oh. No. Jilly. So a team comes to you to my garden or my land or whatever it is I have and you do something to it? Yes. Um, and you take something away at the end? Yes. You're not, you're not one of these people who go around and find wonderful metal detectors or anything, are you? No. no. <laughs> not metal detectors? No. Garth. Um, <coughs> does it take quite a bit of time to complete your work when you're outside in the garden? Whatever? It takes quite some effort and a lot of work. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Shot in the dark. Are you a landscape gardener? No. Not a landscape gardener, no. Simon? Do you have anything to do with animals? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not as part of my job. Not as part of her job, no. You've beaten the panel. Bravo. <laughs> Would you like to tell them what you do? I'm a lumberjack. Ah, what? What? I'm a lumberjack. lumberjack. Woodland copiser. Or a woodland copiser, you see. Yes, and in fact, you say you don't have anything to do with animals, but you do. You have animals who help yeah, you. Yeah, I do have but animals. But these are rather definitely. special, and in fact, in fact, we just happen to have them here this afternoon. Would you like, like, like to go and get them, Roz? Animals, special animals who help in the job, and here they are. Oh! Oh! oh. Aren't they beautiful? Oh. And they always dress.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank this is Tara, she's ten years old. Mrs. Oh. Rebel is two. That's Tara and Rebel. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? beautiful. And they, they show dogs. Look, there they so are, they, aren't show. they? And they've been wonderfully well behaved. Oh. Well, thank you for joining us, Roz, and for these two beautiful dogs, and to Simon and to Jill and Gillian Garth. Thank you too for looking in. Hope we see you again soon. Aren't they ravishing? Yeah.